What's up ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to be talking about the lease deal on the new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE. Now for those of you that don't know what 4xE is, it's Jeep's plug-in hybrid and these 4xE's are available in a Wrangler form and a Grand Cherokee form and the cool thing about 4xE's is even though that they're a plug-in hybrid, they do qualify for the full $7,500 EV tax credit and that makes them an amazing lease deal. So in the first part of this video what we'll do is we'll go over the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon lease deal in detail. We'll talk about the mileage, we'll talk about the overage penalties, we'll talk about the monthly payment and all of that good detail and I'll give you lots of helpful tips and tricks along the way that will help you on your car leasing journey and it doesn't have to be on this particular car, any car that you decide to lease. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about the 1.25% rule of leasing and I'll show you why I personally think this Jeep Wrangler 4xE is a tremendous value. Now I know there's a lot of Jeep Wrangler loyalists out there, so if you've been thinking about getting a Jeep Wrangler, a 4xE might be the car for you. And with that, let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna share my screen, but if you could please give this video a like and give me a follow or a subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on jeep.com and right here we have the featured offers. You have offer one, offer two, offer three. Um, offer one is actually another great Jeep Wrangler deal. It's on the Willys 4xE. It's $329 a month for 36 months. It's a tremendous value. So if you want like a lower payment um, than what the Rubicon is, this is a great lease deal. But what we're gonna do is scroll down uh, here's the Willys lease deal again, and there's actually a great lease deal on the Sahara as well. So if you're into the Sahara, this is also a great lease deal. But the one that I want to cover in today's video is the Wrangler four-door Rubicon 4xE MSRP starting at $61,990. Now let me see if I can actually zoom in a little bit. This is a new trick that I learned. Um, so here's the lease deal. It says returning FCA lessees can lease a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE for $389 a month. This is a 36 month lease that requires $3,999 due at lease signing. So a lot of you are probably saying, hey Ravi, this lease is just for returning FCA lessees. I don't have a current FCA car, so I can't get this lease. But the reality is you can get this lease, but you just won't qualify for the $1,500 loyalty rebate. But ladies and gentlemen, even without the $1,500 rebate, this is still a tremendous lease deal, and I will showcase that later in this video. Now moving on, you'll see that this lease payment term has factored in the $7,500 EV tax credit, and that's what makes this a really awesome lease. I mean, you're pretty much taking like $200, $210 off of the monthly payment when you factor in this EV tax credit. And it's important to note that this lease is good until April 1st, 2024. So let's actually click on Show Disclosure and open up the fine print because that, ladies and gentlemen, is where all of the good stuff is. Now, in the fine print, you'll see that the MSRP on this particular Jeep Wrangler is $64,985, and the total due at lease signing includes the down payment and the first month's payment. Tax, title, and license is extra. Now, this particular lease allows for 10,000 miles a year. If you drive over the 10,000 miles a year, you'll be charged a 25 cent a mile excess mileage penalty. Now, I get so many people in the comments saying, hey, Ravi, 10,000 miles is just not enough. Like, I drive 12,000 miles or I drive 15,000 miles a year. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can get a 12,000 mile a year lease or a 15,000 mile a year lease. Just because it says 10,000 miles in the national lease ad doesn't mean that you have to get a 10,000 mile a year lease. Now, obviously, if you get this Jeep Wrangler with a 12,000 mile a year lease or a 15,000 mile a year lease, yes, your monthly payment is going to increase, but it is much cheaper to get a 12,000 mile or a 15,000 mile a year lease if you need it. It's much cheaper to get it up front rather than pay the excess mileage penalty, which in this case is 25 cents a mile. Now moving forward, you will have to pay a $395 disposition fee at the lease end. And this is very common. Any vehicle that you lease is going to have this disposition fee. It can range from $300 to about $700 a month. That's what I typically see. So just because that's there doesn't mean that it's, uh, you know, unique to Jeep, every manufacturer has this. And another very important factor of this lease is that you have the option to buy this Jeep Wrangler at lease end 
for a pre-negotiated price. And this pre-negotiated price is going to be the residual value. And this is another thing that there's a common misconception about. A lot of people think that when you lease a car like this Jeep Wrangler, after 36 months, a lot of people think that you have to turn the car back in. Now it's important to note that you have the option to turn this car back in at the end of the lease term. Because believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, you can buy the majority of leases at the end of your lease term. Now, I personally recommend that you only even consider buying your leased car uh, if you have a positive equity in it. So let's just say that the dealer says the residual value on this Jeep is, let's just say $30,000 as an example. Well, that's what you can buy the car for at the end of the lease term. I can buy that car for $30,000. Now, if I know my Jeep is worth $35,000 or $36,000, then I know I have positive equity at the end of the lease. And that means that I should consider buying this Jeep Wrangler at the end of the term. Or what you can do is take that lease equity of five or $6,000 in this example, and you can actually use it towards your next Jeep or your next FCA lease. Now in this part of the video, I wanna run the 1.25% rule of leasing on this Wrangler four-door Rubicon 4xe. Now my 1.25% rule of leasing is just a rule of thumb that I use to determine whether or not a particular lease is a good value. And it's a great way to determine whether or not you should lease a car or finance a car instead. Now, the way it works is if the monthly payment with $0 down, including taxes, is less than 1.5% of the MSRP, that's a good lease deal. If your monthly payment is less than 1.25% of the MSRP, that's a great lease deal. And if your monthly payment is less than 1% of the MSRP, that's an amazing deal. So let's go ahead and run the 1.25% rule of lease on this Wrangler. Now what I'm going to do is take the $3,999 that's due at signing and I'm going to subtract the acquisition fee of $695 from that amount since the $3,999 includes the acquisition fee. And I'm also going to subtract the first month's payment of $389 since the $3,999 also includes the first month's payment. Now what I'm going to do is divide this by 36 since this is a 36 month lease and effectively make it a zero down lease. And then I'll add the monthly payment of $389 to this amount. And that gives me a pre-tax monthly payment of $469.97 a month. And then what I'll do is I'll multiply this by 1.1 to account for 10% sales tax here in the city of Seattle. And when I do that, I get a zero down monthly payment, including taxes of $516.96 a month. Now the last step in the 1.25% rule is to divide this number by this vehicle's MSRP, which is $64,895, oh, excuse me, it's $985. And when I do that, I get 0.0079. I'm gonna multiply this by 100 to move the decimal point over two spots. And when I do that, I get 0.79. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember when I said that if your monthly payment is less than 1.25% of the MSRP, that's a great deal. And if your monthly payment is less than 1% of the MSRP, that's an amazing deal. Well, this Jeep Wrangler 4xE Rubicon sits at 0.79% making it one of the best lease deals I've probably done over the last five or six months. Now let's actually run the 1.25% rule if you don't qualify for the loyalty rebate, which is $1,500. So what I'll do is I'll take that $3,999 that's due at signing. I'll subtract the acquisition fee of $695. And then I'll also subtract the first month's payment, which is $389. And then what I'm gonna do is add the $1,500 loyalty rebate back into this amount since we technically don't qualify for it. And when I do that, I get $4,415. I'll divide this by 36 since it's a 36 month lease. I'll add the monthly payment of $389 to this amount. And then I'll multiply this by 1.1 to account for 10% sales tax here in the city of Seattle. And then I'll divide this by 64,985, which is this Jeep's MSRP. And I'll multiply this number by 100. Apologies if I'm moving fast here. And I get 0.86%. So ladies and gentlemen, even if you don't qualify for the loyalty rebate, this is still a 0.86% lease. It's a sub 1% lease deal, making it a tremendous lease deal, even if you're not a returning FCA lessee. Now with that, I'm gonna call it a video. I hope you guys got value from this video, but if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below and I will get back to you. And as I always say, financial knowledge is power. Please like and follow for more.